you <laughs> you can definitely leave star wars but star wars doesn't leave you right so welcome back to the channel again and um i mean the question is should star wars should star wars really come back <laughs> at this point and um well might as well just talk about this the ahsoka series now uh in terms of like disney star wars it's beyond beyond appalling what they have done the only series i don't think i have watched is andor and they like a lot of people say that andor is like really good but i watched boba fett uh and that was horrible then i watched kenobi that was even more horrible actually that was that's when i like left watching uh anything star wars related on disney plus uh and it's no secret that i absolutely loved the um the rebel rebel series and i want to see obviously the continuation and ahsoka is supposed to be kind of like the culmination of the rebel series so let's watch this trailer and see if there is uh, going to be something worthwhile or not um because god knows god knows we are in desperate need of quality star wars war is inevitable one must destroy you know i really don't get these like why are they orange or, or, is it me or is it just like the coloring of the show but why did they look orange one must destroy in order to create We are no Jedi. Yeah, why why is it orange? But anyways. I like the music. I started hearing whispers of Thrawn's return as heir to the Empire. What happens when we find Thrawn? Doesn't she look like Scarlett Johansson? Just a bit. When we find Thrawn. Like... Power. Such as you've never dreamed. So they're actually going with the uh I've spent most of my life world fighting world. World. That's why I'm trying to convince you to help me prevent another one. She looks good. You and I both know who could help you with this. She's still just as stubborn as ever. Oh, she's cute. I bet you were found you difficult at times. Anakin never got to finish my training. I walked away from him. Just like I walked away from Sabine. You never made things easy for me. I'm never gonna complain about that shot. Master. As a Jedi, sometimes you have to... Are you gonna tell me that they're going to turn Sabine into a into a Jedi? That's an interesting route. But she doesn't have the dark saber anymore. Like why? Like how? Hmm. Huh. Not entirely sure about that. Master. As a Jedi, sometimes you have to make the decision no one else can. But I'm counting on you to see this through. No. No. Nice haircut. Fuck! Sometimes we have to do what's right, regardless of our personal feelings. <sighs> Fuck, I hate that. I really, 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 really do. If we don't stop Thrawn, everything will be in vain. Oh. So that's how he looks like. I'm not going to say that it's like a bad or anything, but it's good the intimidating factor kind of going. In. You have no power. Anakin. So Sabine is using Ezra Slat Saber. Interesting. They're dr they're name dropping Anakin quite a bit. 
I'm hoping that there's going to be like a flashback or something to where we see Hayden Christensen with uh, Rosario Dawson. You spoke highly of you. I'm not here to discuss my past. We have a lot of work to do. Once a rebel, always a rebel. Okay. More Inquisitor shit going on. August 23. I, I, this image is cool. I like this. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, so let's 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 talk about the positives and the negatives. Let's start with the negatives. Um I don't see the point of cutting her hair. <laughs> like I was like finally like a Star Wars show and like uh, a show where there's like a, you know, a strong female character that doesn't have the lesbian like half cut thing going on not that she has it but why do you have to cut her hair <laughs> like it's it, it's a nitpick but it's just like it worries me a bit because they did that with Shira, um and they've done that with a lot of like female characters when they like cut their long hair just to uh just for the sake of it's now like the trend now sabine did have short hair in Rebels from time to time. So it's like, you know, it's not that worried about it, but I just, when it comes to live action, I'm more worried about it. Um, I don't want Sabine to become like a Mary Sue type of thing. I really don't want her to, but I feel like there's a, a good bit of emphasis on Sabine as well as Ahsoka. So I just don't want her to be like, she is the one to surpass Ezra and everything, because I think it would it would bring down who Ezra is. Like I don't I don't want I'm not a fan of like let's elevate characters by bringing down others. So I just hope that doesn't happen. Um, Ezra, well, you know, I I really like him. Hopefully, he'll make a return. It's good that they're not showing him. I'm really, really glad that they're not showing him. And uh, this painting is super cute. I like it. Uh, I am not sure who these Sith wannabe are. And they are clearly, they have clearly orange lightsabers. Because the Inquisitor here at the end has a red one. So clearly they have orange lightsabers which i don't think i've ever seen before not even in like video games or anything so i, I just feel like that's kind of weird and if they say like oh it's because they still have a little bit of light in them so they did not like finish bleeding their crystal and that's why it looks orange it's like uh, i don't know I, I i i particularly don't like the um the orange lightsabers what looks cool about it is that, I mean, the cinematography looks pretty awesome. Like this shot, um, that shot looks, looks pretty, pretty good. Um, looks very faithful to Rebels. It really does. So, I'm not, like, I know Dave Filoni is kind of behind this. So that's, that's the positive, like. I mean, this is, these are his, his children, his characters. So I, I'm pretty sure there's going to be like, this is going to be like one of the better series. Sadly, Disney has made us wary of every product that they bring to the table. And because of that, I have to look at it and be like, hmm. Based on the evidence, this might not be as good as as I think it's going to be. Or, like, I, I kind of avoid excitement for it, you know? What do you guys think? Are you excited for this? Are you not? Is this something that you're looking forward to? Are you going to are you gonna watch it immediately? Are you going to wait until everything is just, like, released so you can binge watch it? 
Um, what's your take? Let me know in the comments down below. It's a pleasure being back, I guess. <laughs> Bye, guys.